Uh, today we're going to uh, do a demonstration of the biograph uh, or biopack graphing application for the tablet. Um, to start, we're going to start up the Acknowledge uh, server, and we're going to do that with the biopack daemon. So Cody just started that. Um, so over here on the Windows machine, um, it just popped up. It'll ask me to click through, so I'll do that. Okay, so now we are acquiring data in the Biopack Acknowledge application, and we can access this uh, over the network. So now we can view Cody's graphing application. So on the tablet, uh, one just has to launch the application, uh, input the server that they're going to connect to, which I've already done here, um, and say connect like so. Then one is able to create a new dashboard, uh, which of course we'll call test. Um, and then from there, they're able to edit the dash by creating new graphs to assign. So we're going to do two different graphs today. The first one we'll call uh, resp for respiration because I'm hooked up to that. And that's on channel A2. It's going to be a line graph. Um, and we want this one to take up the whole top half of the screen. There are several different locations you can use to graph, as you can see there. Um, that's what we want this one to look like. We click Save. We're going to go through that process again to create a graph for ECG. Um, type that in. This one is connected on channel A12. Uh, A14. A14. There we go. Um, and that one we want to be all the way along the bottom. Click Save as such. Then we want to activate it to actually view the data. Um, do that. As you can see there, at the beginning, the data uh, fills in until the the buffer fills up with information. Um, afterwards, you're just going to see um, the data scrolling across like so. Um, if I mess with my heart rate there, you see the uh, ECG signal affected. As I take deeper breaths or pauses, you're able to see that uh, reflected in the uh, graph. So. Yeah.